the New Zealand Agribusiness Centre Agricultural Science Award. My work uh, is, is singularly in, in animal science, but as it applies to the farm system. All of our work is, is based on some problem that is uh, facing the dairy industry, and so it's, it's solution-oriented, uh, problem-based work. Um, all of my team have an understanding of the farm system and the implications of their work. So although some of our work may be at a cellular level or even at a nucleus level, uh, the implications of that are, are known by the individuals um, or the team that are working in, this, in that space. A fair chunk of our work has immediate implications. So a lot of what we've been doing has been very applied, providing recommendations on the basis of work we've been doing within 12 months of, of completing that work. And some of it is longer term, five to 10 year type horizon. From a, a health and well-being point of view, a, a large chunk of our work has been in, in mastitis. The other part of our health and well-being work then has been um, working on body condition score. And that's been a fair chunk of our work for the last uh, decade in particular. So the body condition score of an animal is, is a measure of the subcutaneous body fat. So the, the body fat reserves that the animal has to keep it going during either early lactation when all mammals lose weight or um, during periods of undernutrition. The body condition scoring system in New Zealand is a 10 point system. So most of the body condition score systems around the world were developed in the 1970s when it was realized that weighing cows didn't give an accurate reflection of their body reserves. Because uh, particularly in a grazing system where a cow eats 100 to 150 kilograms of fresh weight material on a daily basis just to achieve its, its dry matter intake, um, you, you get large swings in, in weight uh, just on the basis of what's in their stomach and, or, or what's not in their stomach. The system in New Zealand that was developed colloquially was a 10 point system. That's compared with an 8 point system in Australia, a 5 point system in the US, a 6 point system in the UK. And one of the things that we actually accomplished back in 2004 was to have our system published in a scientific manuscript compared with the US system, the European system and the Australian system. So by doing that we got scientific credibility for our 10 point system. It became published in the scientific literature effectively, which opened the door to have our system uh, recognised as the official system for body condition scoring in New Zealand. And that is the system that's written into the Code of Welfare for New Zealand. So I suppose the, the climax of all of our body condition scoring review and uh, the recognition of, of the quality of the work that was undertaken was we were invited by the Journal of Dairy Science to um, undertake a review on body condition scoring its effect on production, reproduction and health and welfare. So in collaboration with researchers from France and Ireland and here in New Zealand, including one of my own colleagues, Dr. Jane Kay, we, um, we wrote that review, published back in 2009, a very comprehensive review. Um, and that review, we were, we were given an award um, this year by the American Dairy Science Association for the most cited paper in the physiology and management section of the journal um, in the 2010-2011 years. So that was, uh, that was a nice tick to, of, of approval.